Today I'm going to share with you a flabbergasting trick that will blow your mind and change the way you edit, especially if you're making composites. Uh, that might be a little bit of exaggeration, but let's jump straight into the trick. So here's a composite that we made last week from one of our tutorials. And as you can see, we have a different elements on different layers. We have the background layer, right? And we have the subject layer. And we have a couple of adjustment layers and the text group. Now, here's the trick. If you go ahead select any layer that you want and you want to save that separately and the trick doesn't end here if you want to save that separately just select that layer okay select that layer and press the shortcut control shift apostrophe now this is an important shortcut i'll show that in the screen control shift and apostrophe now a dialog box pops up so i'll go to the desktop i can create a new folder and name that folder maybe testing I've already tested a couple of times before making the tutorial. So I'll just make that folder and I can save that as a background. Okay, name that background and save. And once you save it, now have a look. If I go to my desktop, there we go. I had already tested that before. Testing and let's just test it here. It's yet not saved, but wait, it will come. It is taking the time to process the information maybe. Yes, there it is. If you see, have a look. If you open that up in Photoshop in a new document, let's just open that. Have a look. All the adjustment layers, now this is interesting, all the adjustment layers have been applied. If you want to recreate that composite for different uh, advertisement campaigns or maybe different posters and you want to maintain the colors, you want to maintain the tones, you have the background ready with all the adjustment layers right in there packed in, burnt into the image. Now, have a look at this. This is more interesting. If you want the background and the subject to be saved together in different images, here's what you need to do. Select the background, hold the controller command, select the subject, select both of these layers. Do not worry about adjustment layers. They will be applied automatically. So now if you press control shift apostrophe, shortcut is on the screen. This is important. Have a look. A new kind of dialog box pops up. Now this dialog box asks you to choose a folder. You can even create a new folder. Go to desktop, click on desktop and make a new folder and you can rename the folder to anything you want. You can just right click on it and rename whatever, maybe testing five. Let's rename, rename that. Whoops, there we go. Just click on that and click OK. Now let's have a look at testing five. Let's minimize that. And there's a folder testing five and in that folder let's wait for a second the file will appear those are big files by the way here have a look if i make the thumbnails a little bigger if you're on windows you can do that very easily by holding the control and scroll the mouse to make the thumbnails bigger have a look the subject and the background have been saved separately together with just one shortcut it asks you to select a folder and it saves every other layer. And this is gonna be really helpful if you're creating composites with tons of layers and you have to recreate that. And you do have to, especially when you're creating advertising or social media campaigns. And not only that, maybe uh, you're creating website headers at the same time you're creating social media headers and at the same time social media posts. All are of different aspect ratios. So you need to change things again and again. For example, this is a regular post size image, right? We can post this in Facebook. Suppose now, if you want to create a Facebook cover photo, you don't want to crop it. That will just crop it out. It won't look nice. We don't want to crop the subject. So we saved both of these. And all we have to do, just open that in another document, just like this. Okay, I open that up, crop this out, and Facebook, for example, the ratio of which is 851 by 315, we press the C, C for crop, and you can also select the crop tool, you can type in 851 by 315. I don't know whether that has changed. Okay, there we go. We crop this out, we can adjust that as well, just like this, and hit enter. And by the way, all the adjustment layers have been applied, so you don't have to worry about all those layers and adjustments. Everything has been applied. So hit enter and there we go. It has been cropped and you can also type in the pixels. So we typed in the pixels instead of the ratio. So I already typed in that and you can just minimize that. There we go. Just drop it, drag and drop it in. And you can paste it just like this and it's ready to go. You can save that directly. Have a look 851315. Save it. 
post it as Facebook cover photo and if that's a website header and if your website has a longer width you can make that longer you can import it again set the ratio and do that one another way in which you can use this is for advertising your own brand if you're a photographer or a retoucher what you can do you can select the background layer right the unretouched background layer at the end select the topmost layer and you can create a merged layer select the topmost layer which is completely retouched and you can save both of them as before and after and you can show that to your client before they approach you for retouching their images tons of ways of using it you are the master you decide how to use it my job is to just show you the trick hope this was helpful and if this was make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating